Yes, bye. Got a minute? Not really. I've got a couple of dinner bookings that I need to confirm with Eric. Besides, if you're just going to keep on going on about Mum, I've heard it all before. Well, I can't know I've been a bit heavy. And I'm sorry. That's why I wanted to start again. OK. I'm listening. It's only natural. But you should be curious about Mum. Well, you've changed your tune. Yeah, well, I understand how you feel. Well, the trouble is, there's another side to all of this. But me and Dad were at the farm so you could go to uni like you wanted. We were there to support you when you got back. I know. And I've always been grateful. Oh, Finn. I'm not after a thanks. I just don't want you to break Dad's heart, that's all. Oh, <laughs> come on, that's just blackmail! But what you don't understand is you would never have had that life if she stayed. But the family would have fallen apart and who knows what would have happened to us. So how do you think that's going to feel if you bring her back into our lives now, eh? <laughs> Is it a bad time? No, I'm on my break. You decided what you're going to do about your mum? Yeah, I think so. Oh, good. I'm glad you're not letting Pete's bully and put you off. He was in here before. You know, I think he just cares a bit too much, but that is not going to stop me supporting you. <sighs> it's a... Uh... Oh, great timing. Hey, you can fix up another meeting. You're not going to answer it? What are you doing? Are you really going to give up on her after you've come this far? Yeah, I've made up my mind. I'm going to stick with the family I've got. 